Hello guys, myself Mohammad Rashid. I hope your preparations for your upcoming exams are going well. I am here to boost up your preparations and give you easy tricks and tips for a concept known as Doppler effect. What do you mean by Doppler effect? Let us try to understand by example. Achha. See here. Let us assume there are two friends here. One is throwing the ball and the other one is catching it. Okay. Let us assume he is throwing a ball, throwing 10 balls in one second. So that he will catch 10 balls in one second. Okay. Now, if he stays there and catch the balls, he can catch only 10 balls in one second. If he comes front, he is throwing just 10 balls in one second. If he comes front, he can he will throw 10 balls in one second but he can catch more than 10 balls in one second right if he comes near he can catch more than 10 balls in one second or if he goes back he, he, he will catch less than 10 balls in one second that means if he comes forward the frequency increases what do you mean by frequency now the number of waves produced per second is known as frequency the frequency increases when he comes Words. and the frequency decreases when you go away okay now you got to know as what is Doppler effect what is Doppler effect the change in an observed frequency due to relative motion of source and the listener this is known as Doppler effect everyone will have the confusions in its formula like how to write the formula there are many cases like observer is uh, at rest and source is moving source is at rest observer is moving when both are moving both are moving towards both are moving away from each other one is moving towards one is moving away from each other first to understand that concept we need to understand this one did you understand this if we come towards the frequency goes increasing and if it goes away from the source the frequency will decrease okay now to understand there is only one formula for Doppler effect. Okay, let us learn that one formula. What is changing here? The frequency is changing here. So, F dash. F dash is apparent frequency. The formula for this is F into V V O by V V S. Only by this one formula, you can drive all the cases. Just by giving the examples. Okay. What does V O means and V means? We will write everything. What does it mean? F dash is the apparent frequency and F is the real frequency V is the velocity of sound VO is the velocity of observer and V is is the velocity of source Achha. how to remember V O should come up or V S should come down like we can remember like uh, O comes first, first or S O comes first right so O will be upwards or else we can remember like sunne uh, wala uh, bada hai ya bolne wala bada hai nahi sunne wala bada hai ya sunane wala bada hai matlab ab idhar suna raha kaun let us assume this as a source velocity of source and this is observer okay sunne wala bada ye sunane wala bada who is sunne wala here observer is sunne wala okay and sunane wala is the source who is the bigger one observer observer means sunne wala kabhi bhi upar rehta nahi to vo will be upwards and vs will be downwards you got to know how to remember the formula acha we will learn it by some examples so let us understand with an example um, what was the formula for that f dash is equal to f into v v o by v v s 
when to add plus minus sign conventions will be the problem in this question okay let us consider a source as a boy here okay this is a boy and the observer as a girl acha first case is case 1 first case is boy moving towards a girl girl is also moving away from the boy it means they have fought from each other right dono ladle ko he is going there but she don't want to listen him acha source moving towards observer what he want to do he want to increase the frequency and observer is moving away from the source it want to decrease the frequency okay what is the formula f dash is equal to f into v v o by v v s firstly towards the observer what does observer want to do he want to decrease the frequency right he is going away from the source so it needs to decrease the frequency to decrease the frequency observer's frequency is in the numerator then to decrease the frequency numerator should be decreased right so there should be a minus sign now the source want to increase the frequency right source is moving towards the observer it want to increase the frequency and source is in the denominator to increase the frequency the denominator should be decreased to decrease the denominator we'll add minus here okay acha next case is case 2 now the boy and the girl observer was moving like this and the boy got angry she is not listening it sir so what he did he went back go you don't listen now the girl is saying oh attitude go i won't come then f dash will be f into v v o by v v s now both of them want to decrease the frequency to decrease the frequency what does the observer do who is observer here girl he is going uh, she is going away from the source then it will be minus for the observer and the boy is also going away from the observer it also want to decrease the frequency to decrease the frequency denominator should be increased so it will be plus here okay then the case 3 will be now girl understood if she leaves the boy he'll go somewhere else so she comes back here boy is going away from the observer but observer is coming towards the source so f dash will be equal to f into v v o by v v s now the observer want to increase the frequency it's coming towards the source to increase the frequency the uh, numerator should be increased so there will be a plus sign and the boy want to decrease the frequency he is going away from the observer so new uh, denominator should be decrease uh, increased to decrease the frequency denominator should be increased to increase the denominator will add the velocity of source okay acha the next case is case 4 will be now kab tak boy bhi kya raha tha gussa raha tha girl se to what does he do he comes back now both of them want to increase the frequency right both are coming towards each other then f dash will be equal to f into v v o by v v s both of them want to increase the frequency now the observer is increase the increasing the frequency so the numerator will be increase the plus sign and the source wants uh, also want to increase the frequency then the denominator should be decreased right so there is a minus sign did you understand first both were moving away from each other no first first case was source was moving towards observer and observer was moving away from the source so we got the formula for that you got to know how to write the formula and the next cases will be when one is at rest and one is in motion let us assume the boy is at rest and the girl is in motion and girl is moving away from the observer okay f dash will be equal to f into v v o by v v s if you remember only this you can derive all the questions okay see what is girl here it's observer right girl is an observer and the boy is a source okay observer want to decrease the frequency it is going away from the uh, source right it want to decrease the frequency then it will be minus and the boy is at rest then velocity of sound will be equal to 
source will be equal to 0. In the final formula will be f dash will be equal to f into v minus v o by v because v s is 0. Okay. The next case will be case 6. Now again the boy is at rest but the girl is moving towards the observer. Firstly, it was moving away from the observer. Now, it is moving towards the observer. Then, f dash will be equal to f into v v o by v v s again. Now, girl want to increase the frequency. Observer is coming towards the source. Then, numerator will be increased by adding the velocity of observer. And the boy is at rest. So, similarly, again v s will be equal to 0. Then, f dash will be equal to f into v plus v o divided by v. Next case is case 7. Till now, the boy is at rest. Now, boy will be in motion and girl will be at rest, which means velocity of observer will be 0. Achha, it is observer and this is a source. Let us assume boy is moving towards the observer. Then f dash will be equal to f v v o by v v s. Okay. Boy is moving towards observer. Means source is moving towards the observer. Source want to increase the frequency. Though it is in denominator, so we want to detect the denominator so that frequency will be increased. And the v o will be zero. Then finally f dash will be equal to f into v by v minus v s. And the last case is boy is moving away from the observer and girl is at rest. Then f dash will be equal to f into girl is at rest, velocity of observer will be 0, v by v, v s. Now, the boy is moving away from the observer. Away from the observer means it want to decrease the frequency. To decrease the frequency, denominator should be increased. So, v plus v s. Next, we will learn about some examples about echo means there is a mountain or a wall it is a wall which is reflecting wall is reflecting the sound we will learn some important cases in this case 1 what will be case 1 let us assume there is an observer here observer O and there is a source here source s source is moving towards the observer okay source is moving towards the observer now observer will hear two frequencies one will be from source and the other one will be reflecting from the uh, wall okay first thing f dash f dash means due to source due to source means directly What will be V? Observer is at rest. At rest means V by V, V s. Okay. Source is coming towards the observer. Same as this case, uh, another case, right? Case number 6. What is, source is moving to, uh, observer is moving, to, uh, source is moving towards the observer. If source moves towards the observer, it want to increase the frequency. To increase the frequency, denominator should be decreased. Okay. F dash is equal to F into V by V minus V s. Now, what will be F double dash? F double dash is the reflecting sound. Reflecting frequency. It is due to the wall. Okay. What will be F double dash? F into uh, observer is at rest V by V V s. How to do the sign convention for this? Let us Consider this wall as a mirror. Mirror reflect the things, right? It is also reflecting the sound. Let us consider it as mirror. Consider this as a mirror. Now, source is moving here. From here, same thing. The source will be moving in opposite direction. Observer is at rest. Don't move observer here. Observer is here. Now, the source is moving away from the observer, right? Observer is staying there itself but the source is moving away from the observer when the source is moving away from the observer it want to decrease the frequency so there will be positive in the denominator okay 
now the next case is case 2 there is a rigid wall here which is reflecting now observer is standing here observer is standing here at rest and the source is coming from here this is a source now what will be normal frequency f dash will be equal to source is coming towards the observer and observer is at rest f into v by v vs source is coming towards the observer it want to increase the frequency then it will be v minus vs okay if i make the mirror image of this there is a source here which is coming towards the observer then again source is coming towards the observer therefore f double dash will be equal to f into v by v minus vs it got same therefore now they can ask what will be the beat frequency here what is beat frequency beat frequency is nothing but the change in the frequencies right delta f is known as beat frequency beat frequency what is beat frequency f double dash minus f dash that will be equal to zero here only but uh, before the last case it was not zero right now the last case that is case three there is a reflecting wall here or mountain any cliff anything it can be okay let us consider a car and an observer both are in the same car both are moving with velocity vs now here the source is a car and the observer is in the source right now observer haunts the car firstly he will listen the f dash will be equal to f itself because source and observer are in the same place whatever he haunts he listens the same thing but the echo sound will be different why because see here is the observer moving with velocity vs if you make a reflecting image this will be the source for this observer now f double dash will be equal to f into v v o by v v s now in this case this whole term will be act, acted as observer and this will be our source so what is happening here observer is moving away from the source and source is moving away from the observer both are moving away from each other then the frequency should be decreased firstly observer is moving away from the uh, source then frequency will decrease how will the frequency decrease by decreasing the numerator and source is also moving away from the observer how will the frequency decrease due to source by increasing the denominator that's all now we have learned all the cases of doppler effect uh, approximately 10 cases right now we'll be solving some questions which will make you the concept much more clear okay so we we'll start with a question a listener is at rest and a police siren is moving away from the listener at 60 meter per second now there is a listener here which is at rest listener means observer right then the velocity of observer is zero okay and the police siren is moving away from the listener at 60 meter per second this is a police van which is moving away from the observer with the speed of 60 meter per second what the frequency does the listener hear now the frequency will be different right because there is a relative motion between observer and the source and the velocity of sound is given as v is equal to 340 meter per second and the frequency of siren originally was 500 hertz this is the given data you need to note down first okay now we will write our formula f dash will be equal to f into v v o by v v s okay now sign convention by our trick observer is at rest then it will be a zero source is moving away from the observer when it is moving away from the observer the frequency will be decreasing so to decrease the frequency denominator should be increased then plus v s now f dash will be equal to f into v by v plus v s now substitute the value f dash will be equal to what is f here 500 hertz 500 into v is 340 divided by again v is 340 plus v s will be equal to 
16. F dash will be equal to 500 into 340 divided by 340 plus 60 is 400. Double zero, double zero gets cancelled. 340 by 4 will be equal to 85. Then F dash will be equal to 5 into 85. 85 into 5 will be equal to 425 hertz. We got to know right the original frequency was 500 hertz, but we got the apparent frequency as 425 hertz because the source was moving away from the observer. Now the next question it is a sound source is moving towards the stationary observer. Now again the observer is at rest. Stationary means rest, right? VO will be equal to again 0. Now the source is moving towards the observer, right? Here let us assume this as a source, it is moving towards the observer with a velocity of one tenth of the following speed of sound. Whatever the speed of sound is V, it is one tenth of speed of sound. Vs will be equal to V by 10. The ratio of apparent frequency to the real frequency is, achha, we need to know that F dash by F will be what? This is the given data. Achha. Now the formula, F dash will be equal to F into now the observer is at rest, right? Directly we can write V by V, V s. Source is coming towards the observer. So the denominator should be decreased. To increase the frequency, denominator should be decreased. To decrease the denominator, we will add negative sign. We need F by F dash. We will take this F here. F dash by F will be equal to V by V minus V s. Okay. V as it is V, V minus. What is V s here? V by 10. We will take the LCM. F dash by F will be equal to, if we take the LCM, it is 10 by 10V minus V will be equal to 10V minus V. Upper it is V itself. Okay. Now, this 10 will go upwards because denominator, uh, denominator will be a numerator. Then 10V by 10V minus V will be 9V. V, v gets cancelled. Therefore, F dash by F will be equal to 10 by 9. That means, if the initial frequency was 9 hertz, then the final apparent frequency which was heard by the observer due to source coming towards the observer will be 10 hertz. The next question. A train is standing at the outer signal of railway station blows a whistle of frequency 400 hertz. Frequency is given as 400 hertz in still air. What is the frequency of the whistle for a platform observer when the train Platform observer means observer is at rest, right? They haven't given, but we have to understand it. How? For a platform observer, they have given, uh, they have not given the frequency, uh, velocity of observer. So, the observer is at rest. Firstly, we, we need to know when it approaches. Okay. Let us assume this an observer, which is at rest, VO will be equal to 0. Now, the train is coming towards the observer first approaches with speed 10 meter per second okay what will the formula now f dash will be equal to f into v by v v s because v o is 0 we don't need to write it v by v s source is coming towards the observer it want to increase the frequency the denominator will be decreased then f dash will be equal to what is f here 400 into what is v 340 divided by 340 minus 10. F dash will be equal to 400 into 340 divided by 330. 0, 0 gets cancelled. F dash will be equal to 400 into 34 by 33. Okay. F dash is equal to 400 into 34 by 33. 34 by 33 is equal to 1.030. Then F dash will be equal to 400 into 1.030. F dash will be equal to 412.12 hertz. Okay. This for section A. Now for section B. What does it mean? Receipts from the platform with the speed. Receipts from the platform means here there is an observer O, okay, which is at rest. From here, the train is going. 
from here it came towards the observer then now it's leaving from the observer with the speed of 10 meter per second okay f dash will be equal to again f by f into v by v vs now it's going away from the observer right then the denominator will be increased therefore f dash will be equal to 400 into v is 340 divided by 340 plus 10 f dash will be equal to 400 into 340 divided by 350 0 0 gets cancelled f dash will be equal to 400 into 34 by 35 then f dash will be equal to 400 into 34 by 35 that is equal to 34 by 35 is nothing but 0 0.971 therefore f dash will be equal to 400 into 0 0.97 is 388.57 hertz Achha, next question kya? a train moved towards a stationary observer with a speed of 34 meter per second okay Matlab, train ki speed kiti hai? vs is equal to 34 meter per second the train sounds a whistle and its frequency registered by the observer is f1 the observer eh, rest pe hai, nahi, towards the stationary observer so frequency is f1 Achha. next if the speed of train is reduced to one, uh, 17 meter per second firstly speed of sound kya te? 34 the next speed of sound will be reduced to 17 meter per second the frequency registered is f2 now the frequency registered is f will be equal to f2 f f dash if the speed of sound is 340 meter per second speed of sound v is equal to 340 meter per second then ratio of f1 by f2 is f1 by f2 we need to do what is f1 here f into vo is 0 v by v vs v vs first was uh, towards observer right same thing if uh, the train comes towards the observer denominator should be decrease to increase the frequency then minus vs divided by what is f2 here f2 will be equal to f into v by v vs it is also coming towards the observer then <coughs> what all will get cancelled f f will get cancelled v v will get cancelled okay now f1 by f2 will be equal to this denominator will go in numerator v minus vs of 2 divided by v minus vs of 1 okay f1 by f2 will be equal to first one is v is equal to 340 minus vs of 2 will be equal to 17 meter per second divided by 340 minus vs of 1 will be equal to 34 meter per second Achha. next f1 by f2 will be equal to 340 minus 17 is what is 340 minus 17 it is 323 divided by 340 minus 34 will be equal to 306 okay now f1 by f2 will be equal to 17 nines uh, 17 into 19 will be equal to 323 and 17 into 18 will be equal to 306 that is 19 by 18 if f1 is 19 hertz then f2 will be equal to 18 hertz the next question <coughs> a rocket is moving at a speed of 200 meter per second the speed of rocket is 200 meter per second towards the stationary target speed of observer is zero stationary target while while moving it emits a wave of frequency 1000 hertz frequency is of 1000 hertz okay some of the sound reaching the target get reflected as an echo okay some of the sound reaching the target get reflected as an echo um echo is present okay we'll calculate this now calculate the frequency of sound as detected by the target firstly we need to calculate the frequency of sound detected by the target this is an observer this is our uh, stationary target reflecting target this is our source moving towards observer okay source which is moving towards observer now the frequency of sound as detected by the target firstly 
साउंड फ्रीक्वेंसी एफ डैश विल बी इक्वल टू एफ इन टू वी बाई वी वी एस नाउ सोर्स इज कमिंग टूवर्ड्स ऑब्जर्वर इफ सोर्स इज कमिंग टूवर्ड्स ऑब्जर्वर द फ्रीक्वेंसी इज इंक्रीजिंग टू इंक्रीज द फ्रीक्वेंसी डिनोमीटर विल बी डिक्रीजिंग देन एफ डैश विल बी इक्वल टू वॉट इज एफ थाउजेंड इन टू वॉट इज वी इन थ्री फोर्टी इफ इट्स नॉट गिवन वी कैन टेक इट एज वी ऑफ साउंड इज इक्वल टू थ्री फोर्टी मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके थ्री फोर्टी डेड बाई थ्री फोर्टी माइनस वॉट इज द फ्रीक्वेंसी टू हंड्रेड मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके नो एफ डैश विल बी इक्वल टू थाउजेंड इन टू थ्री फोर्टी डिवाइड बाई थ्री फोर्टी माइनस टू हंड्रेड विल बी इक्वल टू वन फोर्टी जीरो जीरो गेट्स कैंसर देन एफ डैश विल बी इक्वल टू थाउजेंड इन टू थर्टी फोर बाई फोर्टीन थर्टी फोर बाई फोर्टीन इज एफ डैश विल बी इक्वल टू थाउजेंड इन टू थर्टी फोर बाई फोर्टीन थर्टी फोर बाई फोर्टीन इज थाउजेंड इंटू टू पॉइंट फोर टू एट फाइव ओके एफ डैश विल बी इक्वल टू इफ यू मल्टीप्लाइ दिस by 1000 then it will be 2428 into 2428.5 hertz this is for first one now the second one the frequency of echo as detected by the target if you uh, consider this as image the source is moving away from the observer right due to echo then what will be the formula now f in f dash is equal to f into v by v vs source is moving away from the observer then denominator will be increasing therefore f dash will be equal to f into v is 340 divided by 340 plus 200 f dash will be equal to what is f 1000 into 340 divided by 340 plus 200 is 540 00 zero zero gets cancelled then f dash will be equal to 1000 into 34 by 54 34 by 54 is 0.62962. Therefore, f dash will be equal to 692.62 hertz. Okay. The next question: A train moving at a speed of 220 meter per second towards a stationary object emits a sound of frequency 1000 hertz. Some of the sound reaching the object gets reflected back. To the train as echo, the frequency of the echo as detected by the driver of the train is okay. This we will consider as a stationary object. Okay. Now the train is moving towards the stationary object with a speed of two hundred meter per second. Now the sound of the reflected button as echo it is coming as echo with this again same speed vs is equal to 200 meter per second the frequency of echo as detected by the driver of the train is driver is in this itself right then velocity of observer will be equal to velocity of source okay therefore f dash will be equal to f into v v o by v v s both are coming towards each other observer want to increase the frequency plus source want to increase the frequency minus therefore f dash will be equal to f is 1000 frequency given is 1000 hertz and v is 330 meter per second velocity of sound 330 plus 200 divided by 330 minus 200 okay then f dash will be equal to Thousand into three thirty plus two hundred is five thirty divided by three thirty minus two hundred is one thirty zero zero gets cancelled. Now f dash will be equal to thousand into fifty three divided by thirteen. F dash is equal to thousand into fifty three by thirteen is four point zero seven six nine. Therefore, f dash will be equal to When you multiply 4.076 into 1000, it will be 4076.9 hertz. Alhamdulillah, we have done this with this topic, which is which was most important topic for boards as well as NEET exam. 
for boards there will be five marker numerical based on this doppler effect and neat exam they can ask any of this question from uh, for neat exam you need to remember only this thing uh, to be remembered Firstly, you need to remember what is Doppler effect. Why does Doppler effect occurs? Doppler effect occurs due to relative motion. Due to relative motion, Doppler effect occurs. And the second thing you need to observe is frequencies. Measured, right? Only frequency we are measuring in this, and the formula for frequency which we need to remember is f dash is equal to f into v v o by v v s, and the sign conventions. I hope you all have understand in the better way which I explained. And thank you for watching the video.